it's me again crazy bag lady so i'm back with another one of my decorating videos and i thought i'll just make a separate one on it so they're normally quite interesting to see the before and after so i'm in the process of painting my interior door so i had some new doors fitted and i thought oh, i really like them they're beautiful started painting them neutral with a beautiful fire and more paint and then I, I suddenly thought this is a little bit boring um don't get me wrong beautiful beautiful paint and they looked gorgeous but I just had the urge to do something different so i was going to do them dark then i decided they'd probably be too dark so i've gone down a different route and i'm doing like a pinky color oh it's very exciting so this is my door at the minute i have tried a million different paint samples on it um so i've done sort of pinks dark pinks blush pinks um then i was going to do green and let me show you which one i'm going so, for i've tested little green company um little green paints far and ball and frenchy so the french paint was lovely uh but was slightly maybe a little bit purpley the fire and ball was absolutely gorgeous but again quite a dark tone so we've gone for this which is a little green paint company one i've never used little green paint company before um but i've heard very very good things about it so my paint has arrived today i only ordered it yesterday so it's come so fast um i have ordered a primer as well because um i want to paint my door frames as well and obviously um they've got gloss on them so they said if i used a primer it should cover over the gloss um i'm not sure if i need to prime these as well they are already primed they come primed um but because i've put so many bloody samples all over it i think i'm just going to run over it with a primer as well um i really hope they're going to look really nice obviously i've got beautiful gold handles um i've took the little edging bit off that should have a edge around the handle um so i I thought against the gold and obviously I have quite a lot of pink sort of tones in my house I'm hoping it's going to look really nice and at the end of the day it's only a bit of pain and if you really don't like it you can always paint over it so I'm going to do one door first before I do all the others so without further ado let's get the primer on so the paints arrived today came in this beautiful box with little houses on it so sweet um nice little tin a uh, little green written on it, paint and paper. So this is my primer. It's got a little thing to hold the lid shut. It was very, very well packaged as well. Uh, right, let's get it open. Mm. And how absolutely gorgeous is this colour? Oh, looks so lovely. Right, so this is my undercoat, like my primer. So it is matched to the same colour as the paint. So give it a really, really good stir. Let's get it off. Dun, 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 dun. First coat of primer done. I'm actually freaking. <laughs> I don't know whether I like it or not, but I did exactly the same when I painted my kitchen. I, I first of all thought, oh no, I really don't like it. So this is only the primer. You won't know until you do it all. Um, the door's nice. It's the door frame. I'm not so sure about that. Let's have a look at the other side. I'm desperate for my dinner as well. I've not had my dinner yet. So that's the door frame. Yeah, it's uh, very pink. I think my husband's gonna have a heart attack when he comes home. <laughs> um, but again, it's only the primer. It'll be fine, it's only a colour. So, a couple of hours later, I've decided to do the first top coat because I'm really not sure about the colour. So I feel like I wanna get a coat on and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is nearly a week later. Um, so it's had two top coats and one base coat. Um, <clears throat> me and my husband fell out terrible over it because he declared it was too pink and he didn't like it. I'm on the fence with it. I love it, but I I don't love it 100%. But because I've already bought the paint, I, I nearly went down the green route. I was like, no, I can't do this. I need to go down the green route. Then I thought, ha I'd have to get so many samples and hunt again. And I thought, Jane, you love pink colours, so just go with it. So, we're going to carry on. Um, I've had a, I'm getting a quote to have some panelling and stuff done because I've decided if I'm going to go for it, I'm really going for it. So, 
I'm having to crepe some panelling, although I'm not sure if I want to have panelling or not. Um, I've got some wallpaper samples. So these are some of the samples that I've got. Uh, it's a very dark day today, so I'm not sure if the camera's really picking it up. These are my other doors that I've got to paint. Obviously at the minute we've got glitter wallpaper, um, which my mum thinks is absolutely awful. I like it, it's pretty, uh, but I am bored of it. So these are the doors I'm going to tackle. I'll know more once I've done these if I really do like it or not. Um, it's a bit scary. It's not scary, but you know what I mean. It's quite a big change in your house when you've always had plain doors. So, without further ado, today we're going to paint these. So, first job that I forgot to do. My builder or my joiner did leave me with some like stuff to fill in the gaps around the locks and stuff. So, I've been very busy filling in filling in around the hinges and stuff it's not perfect but i don't think i've done too bad a job so i've done those and then i've obviously got to do the other doors okay so bedroom door has had a base coat so as you can see that wallpaper is very similar to the paint mm, i'm not sure if i really like it though um yeah so i haven't got time to do my daughter's bedroom door and the bathroom and the kitchen i haven't got time so i'm gonna have to come back and perhaps do them tomorrow but yeah second door frame well a door done well not done but the first step has been taken hmm. so as you can see my dog approves of the door <laughs> so i have noticed i've got a couple of little white bits on it and i think what happened when i shut the door um not long after it's been painted it stuck to the frame so i've got a couple of bits to touch up on that door um undercoat done on that one so today we're moving on to this one so this one's had lots of samples painted on it already so we're going to do undercoat on this one maybe undercoat on this one if we get time and then a top coat on this one and then we've got the kitchen door to tackle but we'll do that one another day mm. so next door done now moving on to the bathroom door right that took me longer than i thought it was going to so bathroom door done uh my daughter's bedroom door done and obviously that's my bedroom door um so they've all had base coat now um i'm not sure what i'm doing about that bit of skirting board because obviously when i've painted that door i might need to paint that bit of skirting board to tie it in i've painted that tiny bit of skirting board there because obviously it looked after if i didn't um i've not painted that bit of pipe there uh, that bit up there because if I'm wallpapering I'll perhaps wallpaper over straight over the top of it so you won't see it because I thought if you just had this pink bit sticking up there it would look a bit daft so I've left that white for now but yeah the rest of it's covered well and it does match my bathroom and obviously this is only the base coat so it matches my tiles beautifully mm. bedroom door has had its first top coat um, it's gone really really dark so you probably can't really appreciate it but it's actually really lovely um yeah it's not very good quality is it, this video um but yeah for this coat door so here we are again so it's now friday morning so this is the next day so it's had a chance to dry i've missed bits i don't know if you can see especially there i have no idea how i managed to miss that um I think some of it is because it started to get dark and although I painted it with my torch, I couldn't quite see. So you definitely need to do morning painting rather than afternoon because in the afternoon you just lose your light. So today I think I'm going to give my bedroom door, a th this will be the third coat of paint it's had. So it's had one primer and then this will be the second top coat. And I think it should be about done. So it's just literally to cover up like the little bits and bobs that I've missed. Um, and then I think if I've got enough time, then obviously I move on to give these their first top coats. But I think if I do this door, then I think that's another door finished. Okay, we're back painting again. So this is day 100 millionth days of painting. Wallpaper samples keep coming. <laughs> so my door has had uh, one base coat, one top coat. My daughter's door has just had a base coat and the bathroom door has had one base coat, one top coat so my no i'm wrong my bedroom doors have two top coats um so my bedroom door is done apart from maybe just needing a tiny touch up on any little bits i might have missed so that's pretty much finished 
Um, it's the bathroom door that needs a second top coat and my daughter's door, Ruby's door, needs its first top coat. So today I'm going to do my first top coat on Ruby's door and if I get a chance I shall go over the bathroom door again and then we've got to tackle the kitchen door. The kitchen door's a bit of a pain because I use it obviously to keep my dogs out of the way. Hello doggy. Um, and they do scratch at the door a little bit so obviously when I start painting it, I don't really want them to touch the door. So I'm going to have to find something. They generally do have free room in the house. It's just sometimes I like to keep them out of the way. So I'm going to have to find something to wedge across the kitchen bit so that they can't get to the door, I think. But anyway, we'll get on with the rest of the painting first. Bathroom door, done, I think. Uh, bedroom door has had its second coat, so that just needs one more coat. So now we're going to tackle the kitchen door. So there's all sample bits across there, so I'm hoping they all cover up. Um, I've got like a blocker, I've got a picture that I can put across the gap to stop the dog. So let's get the primer on. We're back again. So my kitchen door has had a coat of primer. The door frame was green, but I've gone with the blush pink colour because I think it blended in with the door more. So today we've got to do the first top coat on my door. Third top coat on my daughter's door and then my daughter's door and the bathroom door and my bedroom door are finished so we're just painting the last little bit uh new tin has arrived so i've had to order a second coat of uh, a second tin of paint and my friend's trying to keep me company but i think she wants to go in the kitchen so i'm gonna have to unblock my door with they're finished finished they're finished right let me show you them all so we have the sitting room one the bedroom one and my daughter's bedroom's door bedrooms or bedroom door my bathroom door dun, 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 and the kitchen door that i've just finished today so the next step will be to choose the wallpaper which will obviously be part two of this little hallway renovation so that's my door um i've just got to wait for this door to dry and then i can put my little bracket thing on that goes round the outside of the handle paint was absolutely beautiful cannot fault it at all it goes on a dream it is so so lovely there's some of my wallpaper samples um it goes on like a dream i would definitely recommend it it's really really nice um so i'm going to love you and leave you so i hope you've enjoyed my little door renovation it has took me a little while um i used just over one tin of paint and a half about half a tin of primer uh, the colour is absolutely beautiful. It is a uh, little green light peach blossom and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm very, very pleased and I think that we did choose the right colour. I had quite a few wobbles to start with because I felt I should have gone green. Um, but now I've got used to them. I think they're really lovely. So if you do enjoy this and playing house and wallpapering and decorating, then please subscribe to my channel. And I will love you and leave you. I'll see you very soon.